Welcome to another episode of Pathagonia. Today we're going to continue with our hematopathology theme and we're going to talk about follicular lymphoma. So follicular lymphoma is a neoplasm of germinal center B cells with varying proportions of centrocytes and centroblasts or large transformed cells and at least a partially follicular growth pattern, which is what we're seeing here at low power. All of these follicles can really be appreciated and kind of stand out, not something that you see in every lymph node that you look at. In rare cases with an entirely diffuse growth pattern, the neoplastic cells should still show germinal center B cell morphology and immunophenotype. So the fact that these are germinal center B cells in this neoplasm is going to be important for immunophenotyping. So in follicular lymphoma, we're gonna go down on high power here in one of these follicles. You're gonna see two different cell types in varying proportions. You're going to see small cleaved cells or centrocytes, which you can kind of appreciate here with this cleaved pattern. And then you're also going to see some larger cells, which are centroblasts with nucleoli. So you have centrocytes that are smaller, more cleaved cells, and then centroblasts, which are larger, non-cleaved, and have nucleoli. And it's gonna be important to learn how to differentiate centrocytes and centroblasts because that's actually how we grade follicular lymphoma. So the grading of follicular lymphoma is done by assessing 40x fields of 10 randomly selected follicles. So you're just gonna look around and find 10 follicles, not the 10 worst follicles, but just 10 follicles that you wanna take a look at. And then say you settled on this one, you would go down in at 40x, and then you would just count how many centroblasts you see in a 40x field. So if you saw between zero and five centroblasts in a 40X field, that would be a grade one. If you saw six to 15 centroblasts in the 40X field, that would be grade two. And if it was grade one or grade two, that would be considered a low grade follicular lymphoma. However, hopefully not, but if you did go down on a 40X field in one of these follicles and you saw more than 15 centroblasts, that would be considered a grade three follicular lymphoma, which would be more of a high grade follicular lymphoma. So real quick on a little bit on the essential and desirable diagnostic criteria according to the newest edition of the WHO. So some essential criteria is an immunophenotype compatible with germinal center B cell origin, as I mentioned earlier, and that's gonna be with positivity to markers such as CD10, BCL6, MEF2B, GCET1, GCET2, or LMO2. And desirable diagnostic criteria is to have at least a partially follicular growth pattern, which is what we're seeing here, or also to have BCL2 or BCL6 rearrangements and or to lack IRF4 rearrangement. So important to remember those characteristics. And another very important aspect that often comes up on boards or just something good to know if you want to do fish or look at the cytogenetics. So the translocation commonly associated with follicular lymphoma is a translocation 1418, which is resulting in BCL2 rearrangement and BCL2 protein overexpression. So overexpression over of that BCL2 protein is going to inhibit apoptosis. And apoptosis we know can allow cells to die which sometimes can be a good thing if they're you know, not going on a good track or they're gonna become malignant or something like that. But whenever you overexpress BCL2, you're inhibiting apoptosis leading to um, an uncontrolled cell division and uh, can be seen in follicular lymphoma. So uh, interesting neoplasm and a good, good one to be aware of. And I hope that review was helpful. If so, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Pathagonia.